lovely ball from Dunk. Mitoma, can he finish it? It's the most interesting club in world football at the moment. The business that they're doing, the players that they're finding. You know, when I first started playing football, they was in League Two. Going nowhere. And now people coming from all over the world to this club to see what's going on. All the coaches are in, involved. You know, you often find that, so, you know, when you're at a, you don't just want the coaches just sitting there, three or four of them all in the corner having huddled. They've all got, they're all at different stations driving the session. And what a place to, to come and work and and learn your trade. Um, you know, just, it just looks like, it's, it's elite. It's, it says elite football performance centre and it's exactly what it looks like. David, thanks for talking to us. Talk me through the process. Say, for instance, you, Roberto, you know, and the other guys in your team, you, you need a, a right back, for instance, that can do. H how does that process start? It doesn't necessarily start and it finishes. It's just yeah. continually ongoing. So we're monitoring, you know, all the leagues, all the players in the world in terms of, we've, you know, got a database system. I think yeah. everybody's aware of that now that, yeah. you know, that comes from the owner's business and that's a filter for us. It comes from two different areas really in terms of us, in terms of what we as a club like, but also the coach has got to you know, have an input and a say into that as well and, and work together to get you know, people that you know, we both think can help us and improve us. You put in Lalanas, your Milners, your Danny Welbecks. You know, so, I mean, how much is, is it crucial getting the right characters? And that must be even more difficult because character doesn't show up on a database. Yeah. Is that another side to the job? You spoke about you know the characters we have here, the Adams, the Dannys, the, the James Milners, but yeah. also the Lewis Dunks, yeah. the Pascal Grosses, the Jason Steeles, the yeah. Adam Websters. You know these guys are really good guys, really solid professionals, and they kind yeah. of normalise what the behaviours are and what yeah. they should be, and that that's a massive advantage for us. I mean, what was it about the manager that jumped out to you and, and your team when to make him the, the main candidate? I think. Metrics and our, you know, what we've seen, we saw he improve teams, he improved players, mm. he, he overperformed probably with the, the level mm. of players he had. So that's obviously appealing to us that yeah. people that can make the most out of what they've got, yeah. and you know that's sort of our model. Yeah. And there are some things, you know, that probably for us were non-negotiable in terms yeah. of the style of football, um, the key ingredients that you know, the owner and executive want to see on a Saturday afternoon. The fans want to see, they yeah. want to see yeah. entertaining football, but they want to be competitive and they want to turn up looking forward to watching yeah. their team play, but hoping or thinking they've got a chance of winning as well. We've got the sold 11 from Brighton. I mean, some of these names are great. I mean, great look at the midfield there. I mean, that team would be competing in the Premier League. But you look at the midfield, Basuma, Caicedo, McAllister, I mean, that, that could play for any club in the Premier yeah. League. That's, that's incredible. And then, you know, some of the guys like Leo Ostegaard never played for us, never played yeah. for the first team, but now he's playing for Napoli and scored yeah. in the Champions League against Real Madrid. So, you know, it's, there's, there's so many different ways in terms of, you know, the pathways into mm. this club and then what happens afterwards. Norman, thanks for having a chat so with nice us. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. You're a shareholder, super yeah. fan. Is this a regular for you? Pop down to training and watch the No, lights? no, this is a treat. It's like a dream, but it's like a dream where you had a lot of cheese before bedtime. <laughs> it's like how, you know, like no matter where we, what you dream of it, then yeah. something even more exciting happens. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, it's a fabulous time. And having, having been there through the, through the, the, the bad times, it's, you, you appreciate the good ones even more. Yeah. There's so many ex players are so like, They've got so much admiration for what the club have done. And like, that's why, why, why we're here, just so interested in how it's done, really. And what, what do you think the key thing? Are you, is it I Tony th Bloom? It's is, Tony Bloom. Yeah. He's a brilliant businessman, so he's got lots of yeah. money, which he, which he could you know, bail us out to build yeah. the Amex Stadium. Um, but no, he's, he's a, he's a, a poker-paying yeah. genius. 
just the, it's the numbers, it's the yeah. algorithms, it's the science yeah. of it all. But also, the, we, but we, we play really beautiful football. Yeah. Oh, I mean, we, we did for a couple of years, but we just never scored goals. Yeah. We played some excellent football, yeah. which we've never scored. <laughs> but we've, but since Roberto came, we've cracked out how to score goals as well, which yeah. is nice. But no, it's, uh, it all comes down to, you know, basically a club run with passion, but also with a, a, a plan. You know, when Potter went, this Irby was already in the frame. Yeah, you know, like he was part of it. You know, that, like I yeah. said, there's a there's a foresight. Succession down. planning, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So there's probably, I mean, you know, and we're we're yeah. worried now that Roberto's going to get poached because he's he's that mm. good that everybody's looking at him. Well, that was an extra special treat, wasn't it? I mean, that just shows what this club's all about. It's a massive business, and they do everything right. But you know, he's a shareholder, but he's coming down and he's loving just watching the lads train and that. Lewis, good to see you, mate. What's happened? Yeah, I've got a massive spider on me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Centre half, scared of Terry Butcher. John Terry, yeah. would they have thrown a spider on me? What a time to be playing for, for Brighton. You, I mean, you've seen it right the way through from League One. Mate, this training ground of pitch, European football, you must be buzzing. Yeah, buzzing. Um, yeah, did I think it would happen when I first made my debut that many years ago? Nah. Um, we're training at the university with Dean Stadium in League One and now thinking we're challenging in the top half of the Premier League, training for like this, stadium, never would have thought it. So yeah, it's been a, an enjoyable ride and yeah, hopefully this club can keep going forward. When Graham left, you've such, done such a great job. You must be worried, but this guy seems to have come in and, and taken you all up, up another level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his mind is, is crazy and I've never had a manager pick the small deal as much as him and yeah, he's a joy to work on. Unbelievable ride from Bohemians come to Brighton and scoring goals in the Premier League. How are you coping with it all? It's been good. It's yeah. been good. I think it's been a challenge. Yeah. Like obviously coming over, moving away from home and that, but I think I always sort of wanted to do that as a kid and sort of had a picture in my mind, but you don't think it's really, it's going to go like this. Yeah. So you've seen some great players mm -hmm. walk in. And this recent crop, anyone really, really impressed you? Yeah, he's still here actually. Yeah. Pascal Gross. Itoma could pull back, great chance, goal! Brighton are back in it. Pascal Gross with the finish. Yes, player. Um, yeah, and just the demands every day he brings, yeah. brings him to the training is such a high level. His hard work from when he walked in his door to now, he's took this club on yeah. massively. Even the likes of Lalana and and Milner this, this year coming in, it's just added experience yeah. and just the know-how, but Pascal for me, it's it been a massive, massive signing. The training looks brilliant, there's so much detail, so you almost feel like you're just taking in information and, and are, the, are the senior players looking after you as well? I think every day, yeah. like, under the gaffer you're taking in detail yeah. every day, like you have to learn every day and if you don't then you'll just get lost in the system, but I definitely think all the lads help, yeah. you know what I mean, because everyone that has been playing and one, the more you play, the more you understand it, you get me? So, yeah. it's been good. I love watching, I think you're the best side in the league to watch. I think the next step for this group mm -hmm. is, 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 is winning and competing. Yeah, and I think we've been at two semi-finals in the FA Cup now, where mm. the first one we, we turned up and we were having mm. a day out, but the second yeah. we went there and we thought we could win and we lost on penalties, stopping us to get to a final. So, we're improving on that, on that aspect and um, yeah, it's a, obviously, like the chairman says, it's a long, a long process, but yeah, we need to try and, and flick that switch and to, to believe that we can win it more. You're obviously the, the captain and the leader. How's that responsibility for you? Do you, know, do you? Do you enjoy it? Yeah, of course. And I see myself as, obviously, there's loads of types of captains. Yeah. You've probably played under all sorts. Yeah. And I'm more of a, a doer and yeah. showing my leadership skills on the pitch and in the changing room, not the biggest talk, yeah. I'm not the mo biggest motivator, but obviously when I need to, I need to. Mm. We've got such a good dressing room, it does it mm. manage it itself, and you've got Lalana, Millie, yeah. Pascal Wealth, like you said, that are all very vocal, steely as well. Obviously, we're such a young group. Their ears are open to these senior players. Mm. Like, I'm still learning off James Milne. He's yeah. done way more than me so far in his career, and 
why would I not learn of him coming in the door? And, and these young boys are lucky to have that that opportunity to learn of players like they are. If I was still a player, I would love to play for for De Zerbi and Brighton. All you'd have to concentrate on is is the football. I can see why everyone in world football is, you know, knocking on the door here, wanting the kind of access we've got today. So we're very, very lucky. Deserby ball looks a lot of fun. And Mark goal, scoring Brighton's first European goal. Well, this stadium has just taken off. Ready? Roberto, thanks for talking to us. I'm a big fan of the way you play. I played with some great Italian managers, Ranieri, Ancelotti, some fantastic guys. But your style of play is, is different to uh, what a traditional Italian, the way that you like to play. Where did this come from? Well, I think uh, my, my style, my idea uh, started from myself, my history as a, as a player, mm. because Ancelotti was a midfielder, Ranieri mm -hmm. was a defender. And I was a number 10. And then my idea is more, more attack no, than yeah. the traditional ide Italian idea. You singled out Gross. You said he was the most, one of the most talented players you worked with. What's so, so special about this player? Well, Pascal is one of the, the best players I, I worked with. And the people now are uh, starting to, to know yeah. uh, his quality. But for me, it's not a surprise because yeah, yeah, for yeah. me, already can play in a, in Champions League in yeah. the first eleven of Germany, uh, and uh, he has a, a right level to to fight for another yeah. level than Brighton. Yeah, fa fantastic player. Brighton traditionally have sold players, great players, McAllister, Casado. What what can this this group achieve? And if Brighton made the Champions League, would then that maybe change that situation? Because I'm sorry to, to lose uh, great players uh, as yeah. uh, Casado, McAllister, I'm not yeah. happy, but I know very well I'm where I'm working. And the policy of uh, the club is uh, like, like, like this, and yeah. I have to accept, be better, we want to play better than this season, the, the, the beginning of this season, but also the yeah. last season. Pep Guardiola said your team is the best at playing through the lines. There's only one area I think maybe that the team could improve is I think of the result to Everton last year, the West Ham, just that when the when the turnovers happen. The way you concede goal is clear. Yeah. If you attack with three players you can't concede goal in counter-attack yeah. but if you attack with uh, many players it's yeah. possible to concede yeah. goal in counter attack. The same way is the defensive phase. If yeah. you go to press the opponent man to man, yeah. you can concede goal in open space. Yeah. If you wait in your uh, last 20 meters, yeah. you will score in counter attack. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you have to decide before the game what you want what, to do, yeah. what you want to be, and what you yeah. want to become. We are playing with four attackers last. Last season, uh, McAllister often played like number 10. Yeah. And so we had more control of the, the game, control yeah. of the play. Now we are playing with four attackers. Yeah. Joe Pedro, uh, Ansu Fati, Evan Ferguson, Welbeck. Yeah. They are not number 10. Yeah, yeah. When they receive the ball, they want to, to go to score. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we love, we love watching your team play. I look forward to seeing the uh, evolution. I play for my pub team on Sunday, and now, after this education, we're gonna try and play like Brighton. It's been fantastic, Roberto. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Good interview, huh? Yeah? Yeah. Absolutely lovely day. Fantastic to be given access to this club. The manager's so open, you know, you can tell someone so confident in what they're doing and what they're about. They don't have to hide it. It's not cloak and dagger and it's just, it's just been, a, been a real eye-opener. You can arguably say one of the best run football clubs in the world, on the pitch and off the pitch. <laughs>